much fun. Like this is a synth. This is one of those synths that you'll get. Right. Now let's real time record the hi hat. One, two, three, four. Hi guys, it's Scott Berry here, the Roland booth with Roland US. I'm here to show you the new Roland JDXI. Uh, this is our brand new crossover synth. It is part analog, part digital. So on the digital side, we have a lot of the uh, supernatural synth that's sitting in there. It's also part of the Axial program. So axial.roland.com, there will be free sounds for it in the future. Now on the analog part, real quick, I'm just gonna go through, we have an analog filter an analog sub oscillator and analog oscillator. So this is true analog, this is not circuit behavior, this is actual true circuitry. Uh, it's awesome to, to go through it. We also have drums in here, tons of sounds, a lot of user area, we also have a vocoder. So by using the vocoder we can control things like pitch, we can tweak our sound, uh, our voice, we can have a robot sounds, whatever we want to do. Uh, what's killer with this is that we have four parts that we can do with a full 16, uh, four bar, 16 part sequencer. So just recording in, it's really easy to make music. If you're in town or whatever, please come down, check it out. This thing is fantastic. And if not, just go to the RolandUS.com site for more information on the JDXI. Have a great show. Tu Mariusz Mocarski z Roland Polska. Dzisiaj na targach NAM miała miejsce premiera nowych triggerów Rolanda o symbolu RT30. Jak wiemy, triggery to urządzenia zmieniające impakt mechaniczny w sygnał elektroniczny. Dostajemy trzy rodzaje triggerów. Pierwszy to RT30H, single. H od head, czyli przeznaczony głównie na tomy. Lub jeżeli chcemy grać na werblu tylko z jedną barwą. RT30HR dualny, czyli sensor zbierający dźwięk z naciągu oraz z obręczy, z rimu, czyli HR. I trzeci rodzaj, RT30K od kick, od stopy, e, również e, e, trigger mono. Czym się, czym się charakteryzują nowe, e, nowe triggery Rolanda? E, mają nowy design, nowy look. E, Tutaj mamy takie, takie srebrne kółeczko, które pokazuje nam, w którym miejscu mamy sensor. Mają prawie o centymetr niższą wysokość od poprzednich RT-10. Najważniejszym takim udogodnieniem to jest wspaniały grip, czyli umocowanie na bębnie. Bardzo łatwo montujemy go na obręczy i trzyma się naprawdę super mocno. Bez problemu można spakować bęben z tym triggerem do hardcase'a. Dzięki temu, że, są, że jest niższy profil, możemy też łatwiej, łatwiej operować, przenosić pałki wokół e, zestawu. E, możemy też łatwiej lokować mikrofon akustyczny, e, dużo wygodniej. Nowy case, tak to wygląda, bardzo elegancki. Możemy sobie go tutaj spakować i umiejscowić w większym, jeszcze oryginalnym razem z 3-metrowym kablem. Polecam. Hey, this is Brandon Ryan here at Winter Nam 2015 with Info Music, and I'm going to tell you quickly about the new MX1 Mix Performer. This is a mixer that really is designed to bring together all the elements that electronic musicians have on stage these days. So it works with era gear, of course, like the TR8, TB3, VT3, System 1, but it can also bring in analog gear. It has six analog inputs, has eighth inch for tablets and things, um, RCA outputs for uh, uh, send and returns and things. But what it can do is, is mix in DAW tracks uh, from a computer, as many as you want, up to 18, your analog sources, your digital sources, puts them all on your faders, and then lets you play it like an instrument. So it can send tempo, it has start and stop button, uh, you can do tap tempo, it can do shuffle, it can do fine tempo, and it also it has beat effects. So every channel can independently have uh, slicers, side chain, filters, 
that use TR Rec, like step sequencer buttons like a TR8 would use. So every channel independently, you can create polyrhythms and all kinds of cool things. You can also step sequence the effects turning off and on or switching and which channels uh, or which effect presets are being used. So you can also, with no era gear and no analog gear, just use it as an 18 channel mixer for Ableton. So it is really designed to be a mixer you can play. Uh, it's designed to be touched and used and it's kind of a combination of a, a line mixer, a DJ mixer, an audio interface. It is really a new thing. We call it a performance mixer or the MX1 Mix Performer. It'll be out in March. It's $5.99 uh, and we think you'll love it. <laughs>